So hello friends, uh, today we are going to learn uh, exercise 10.2, okay, here are some basically some of the uh, easy questions only we will have uh, related to tangents of a circle. So some of the questions today we will solve from here. Both easy, easy questions will be tough question, one or two questions will be a little bit technical question, the rest of them will be simple question. So let's move on and solve it. So here is question number one. From a point Q, okay, the length of the tangent to a circle is 24 centimeter and the distance of Q from the center is 25 centimeter. The radius of the circle we have to find out. Here in this question, okay, from an external point, a tangent can be drawn from an external point only. Koi ek bahar ka point se hum log, koi ek external point se hum log tangent khi sakte hai. To ye Q point se, ye tangent ka jo length hai, wo diya gaya hai yaha pe, na? देखो ये Q पॉइंट से टेंजेंट का लेंथ जो है वो दिया गया ये 24 ठीक है ना ठीक है ये 24 इसको P मार के कर दिया मैंने ये 24 सेंटीमीटर और फिर और फिर n the distance of Q from the center अब सेंटर से Q का डिस्टेंस ये 25 सेंटीमीटर दिया गया ओके इट इस 25 सेंटीमीटर the radius of the circle मतलब ये निकालना है तो plain question है ओके here here ओके Q P is the tangent of a circle P हमने लगा दिया mark कोई बात नहीं उसको mention नहीं करने से भी होगा कि यहाँ पे Q P is the tangent of a tangent to a circle tangent to a circle with center O circle का center mention कर दिया with center O okay ओ इसका मेजरमेंट दिया गया इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज 24 सेंटीमीटर ओके और दूसरा जो है डिस्टेंस दैट इज ओ क्यू इज इक्वल टू 25 सेंटीमीटर हम लोग ने क्या किया ओके रेडियस ओ पी इज ड्रॉन या कंस्ट्रक्टेड हम लोग ने ड्रॉ कर दिया ओके सिंस रेडियस इज और यू कैन राइट डायरेक्टली रेडियस इज ऑलवेज पारपेंडिकुलर टू द टेंजेंट एक ही पॉइंट ऑफ कांटेक्ट में ओके देयरफॉर व्हिच कैन रॉज जस्ट राइट ओके दैट इज ओपी पारपेंडिकुलर टू क्यूपी ओके देयरफॉर इन राइट ट्रायंगल इन राइट ट्रायंगल ओ पी क्यू हमको निकालना है रेडियस then OP is equal to Pythagoras theorem apply kar diya isko root of isko root of OQ square minus QP square or PQ square whatever you like ok that is equal to OQ 25 square minus 24 square ok it is equal to square root of 625 minus 576 how much will be? How much will be? This is 15 uh, minus 6 is 9. Okay, then this one is this one is 11. Then 49, 49 is equal to how much? 7 centimeter. Okay, so length of the uh, radius is uh, 7 centimeter. Plain question. Okay, the length of the radius is 7 centimeter. We can end with this. Okay, yes. Next question, uh, question number question two is asked, okay, if TP and TQ are the two tangents, for this figure, this TP and TQ are two tangents, okay, to a circle with center O of this circle, okay, so that angle POQ equal to 110 degree, this angle is given 110 degree, then, then we have to find out PTQ angle, okay, then angle PTQ is equal to, we have to find out this PTQ means this angle we have to find out. Okay, now you check this is radius and this is tangent simply uh, similarly here also this one is tangent this is radius tangent and radius are perpendicular to each other therefore this is 90 degree this one also 90 degree this this is 90 this one 90. Now the sum of these two will also be 180 because this is 180 then this sum of these two angle also 180 degree out of 180 degree this is 110 then it is how much it will be 70 degree okay your answer will be 70 degree so how can you show here you check okay need not write lot many things just okay here okay t 
TP perpendicular to uh, TP perpendicular to OP, OP and and TQ perpendicular to TQ perpendicular to OQ. Why? Well, just write the region since tangent is perpendicular to the radius okay finish okay therefore angle angle opt equal to angle oqp both will be 90 degree is it this opt and oqt sorry oqt both are 90 degree each okay now in quadrilateral which one POQT POQT angle OPT plus angle OQT plus angle POQ angle POQ plus angle PTQ is equal to 360 degree ASP of quadrilateral ASP of quadrilateral angle some property of quadrilateral that is this I have written this angle OPT uh, OQT and then POQ and PTQ these all angles together makes 360 degree simple okay now OPT and OQT are 90 each so here 90 degree plus 90 degree plus angle POQ is given in the question that is that is how much in 110 degree okay plus angle PTQ is equal to 360 degree so this one is 90 180 and this one is uh, 110 180 and 110 is 290 okay then this is 360 degree sorry angle PTQ is equal to 360 degree minus uh, this one is 290 this is 290 290 degree therefore angle PTQ angle PTQ is equal to 70 degree this is your answer we have found it is 70 degree okay understood I think simple so friends uh, the next question is question number three that one you will have to solve yourself and if you can solve it solve and send to me okay okay you can whatsapp me now question number four question number four is uh, prove that the tangents drawn at the ends of a diameter of a circle are parallel okay the tangents drawn at the end of the diameter are parallel we have to prove okay this is the diameter of a circle in center o a b is the diameter okay and a p and b q are the tangents i could have i could have produced this one uh, this side also no, but i have written only a p and b q this way this side or you can just in, in, in this one produce that side or this one also produce up, up upwards then um, that will be also a tangent that way also you can you can do by applying alternate angles equal but now I have done something differently since this is perpendicular to this tangent is perpendicular to the radius tangent perpendicular to the radius tangent perpendicular to the radius that means these two angles are 90 each this is 90 this one also 90 okay now diameter is a straight line you don't forget okay now this is 90 this is 90 when we add these two angles we will get 180 degree now this is the transversal and these two angles makes 180 degree means they will be the co-interior angles for this AB for this AB as transversal okay that's why AP and BQ will be parallel again parallel lines when we prove we have just here proved these sum of these two angles is 180 degree means they will become a co-interior angles if they are co-interior angles means this is uh, these two are parallel AP and PQ are parallel here you check 
uh, let AP and BQ are the two tangents uh, drawn at the end of uh, uh, diameter AB. Okay, to prove AP is uh, parallel to BQ, AP and BQ are the tangents. We know that uh, the tangents to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. We know that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius. Therefore, AP is perpendicular to OA, this AP is perpendicular to OA and then BQ is perpendicular to OB. Okay, if they are perpendicular then OAP is 90 degree this one and OBP, OBQ is also 90 degree. When we add these two, OAP plus OBQ, 90 plus 90 it is 180 degree. But they are, means these two angles are, but they are the co-interior angles for the transversal AB. But these two angles are co-interior angles and there is a transversal AB. Therefore, this one and this one will be parallel. That is AP parallel to BQ. It is proved. So friends, uh, question number 5 is a bit different type of question. Uh, we have to understand the question properly. The solution also I am going to explain you. Prove that the uh, perpendicular at the point of contact to the tangent to a circle passes through the center. If I uh, shortly if I explain this question, this question is perpendicular to the tangent passes through the center. We have to prove that. The perpendicular to the tangent passes through the center. We know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay. But here our proof is we have to prove that perpendicular is passes through the center. Perpendicular to the tangent always pass through the center. That one we have to prove. So here the process is this is the circle and AB is the tangent and point of contact is P. Okay, then OP is the radius and we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent. So, this angle is 90 degree that means OPB is 90 degree. Okay, now another arbitrary point X we have taken. Okay, such that this XP is also perpendicular to AB. Let us assume, we know that from the figure we can understand this is not perpendicular. Okay, but let, let another point that is X. Okay, so that XP is perpendicular to the AB. If XP is perpendicular to AB then XPB also 90 degree, XPB also 90 degree but it is not possible. Okay, From the figure we can understand that this OPB and XPB cannot be equal, is it? Cannot be equal Okay, from the figure we can understand but it will be equal, they, this will be possible when this PX coincide with PO that means XP is coincide with no, OP that means when O will collide with uh, this X O and X coincide together then only it is possible that means when this X passes through the center then only this is possible okay that we will do prove okay so it is like a method of contradiction okay so here you check let AB is the tangent of a circle with center O intersecting the circle at P okay P is the point of contact. Okay, we know that uh, tangent of a circle is perpendicular to the radius at a point of contact. We know that that one. That's why OP is the radius. That's why OP is perpendicular to AB. When OP is perpendicular to AB, then OPB is 90 degree. This is one. Let us assume uh, some point X in the interior of the circle. I have not written. Okay, no problem. Okay, let us assume some point, any point that X. It is any arbitrary point. X can be anywhere. Okay such that xp is perpendicular to ab then xp is also perpendicular to ab suppose okay if xp is perpendicular to ab then xpb is also 90 degree then from 1 and 2 this opb and xpb will be equal they are 90 degree opb and xpb 90 degree but it is not possible okay which is possible only if xp passes through o this is possible only this xp passes through o that means xp will coincide with uh, with OP. Okay. So, okay. Hence, the perpendicular to the tangent passes through the center. That way only you can prove it. It is like um, a method of contradiction. Okay. Then friends, here we have question number 7. Two concentric circles are of radii 5 centimeter. Okay. I forgot to join this. Okay. Okay. Two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm. Okay, find the length of the code of the larger circle, okay, which touches the smaller circle. Okay, we will find out the length of the code means this is the code uh, of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle. This AB is the code for the larger and AB is the tangent for the smaller circle. 
okay we have to find out the length of this ab so here oa equal to 5 cm that is given the radius of the bigger circle and op is 3 cm that is the radius of the smaller circle okay for the smaller circle okay op okay op perpendicular to ab tangent is perpendicular to the radius for the smaller circle tangent is perpendicular to the radius so op is perpendicular to ab therefore angle opa is 90 degree okay then this oap is a right angle triangle because this is 90 degree since tangent is perpendicular to the radius so this 90 so pythagoras theorem here ap is equal to using ap or uh, using pythagoras theorem we find ap from here you check oa square minus op square 5 square minus 3 square that is there will be ap equal to 4 cm so value of ap is 4 cm now you uh, take the bigger circle the larger circle in this larger circle we have got that op is perpendicular to ab now if op is perpendicular to ab then ap equal to bp since perpendicular bisects the code is the perpendicular bisects the code so uh, here the region is written so ab is equal to 2 ap you can write that means this ab equal to 2 ap you can perpendicular bisect the code ap equal to bp that means ab is equal to twice ap you can write so ab equal to 2 into 4 centimeter that's why ab equal to how much it is 8 centimeter okay so length of the code of the larger circle that is the tangent of the smaller circle is 8 centimeter you can end up with the sentence okay that will be better okay